Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how to do a colorful eye look. I think I'm gonna do some purples and pinks today. And yeah. <laughs> um, I don't have anything else to say, so let's get started on the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the 35O matte palette. And I'm just gonna take, where's my brush? My little Still Spa Essentials Essence Eyeshadow Blending Brush and these two colors and just use them as a transition shade and that's all I'm using from this palette. Just put that in the crease. Just like that. And I'm going to skip over the other eye while I do it so you don't have to watch this video for very long. There. So once you have that done, I'm going to take the 35 matte color, I think it's just 35C palette, and we're going to go in with this bright pink on the end. Going bold. I'm so excited. And just put that right on top of the brown. like that and I'm honestly going to go down this row till here so the next color I'm just going to use is this one and put it right on top but I will change up brushes throughout the row of color TV out of there. <laughs> like that. And so, I'm going to use the same brush, but I'm going to take the third shade here. It's pretty dark, but I'm just going to put it like on the outer portion of my eye. Like that whole, oh, wow, that is really dark. So I'm gonna blend that into the outer side here. And then once I have like a little product, I'll start doing the windshield wiper into my crease again. And you can get as messy as you want on the outer side because we're gonna use a cloth and clean that up. And you will look a little crazy because I'm looking a little nutso right now with this pink. There. That's bold. This inside part is driving me insane. Okay, so we're going to switch brushes. I'm going to take my little e.l.f. eyeshadow blending brush. And the next color in line, which is this guy here. And we're really going to focus it on the outer. This won't do too, too much, but it's going to add a little bit of depth into the crease. Just on that outer side. But we're going to go in with this dark purple here. And I'm going to do a halo eye look. So we're going to put it on the outer and the inner. This might not be dark enough. Oh, wait. Okay. This is where it gets a little risky because I am going to take the black. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the black and I'm going to attempt to darken up the outer corner. 
corner without going too nuts. Because I don't want to look like I have a black eye. But you know, it's already kind of looking like that, so I might as well just go with it. You know what, that made it look a little bit more purple than black, so I put it in with the pink. So that's looking good. I'm going to wipe off my original blending brush. It's got a lot of pink on it. So I'm going to go back in with that first ah, pink shade there. And try to just fluff the edges out so it doesn't look as crazy. There. It's more blended now. I do want to take a little bit more of the black though, because the outer corner isn't exactly as dark as I want it to be. There, that looks better. And we'll do a little bit more on the inner corner as well. Just like that. And then just go back in with the blending brush and just kind of smooth it all together. There. That's what it looks like so far. Next I'm going to take the 35S, I think that's what it is, I don't know, it's the shimmer. And it matches all of the 35O colors. And I'm taking my little Morphe M508. I don't actually know if it has like a specific, I think it's like a smudger brush. And I'm thinking, oh, what color should I do? I think I'm going to take the lightest shimmer shade, which is this top corner one here. It's pretty like vanilla kind of colored. And I'm gonna put that all over the middle. Okay, and then very lightly with this blending brush, just go over. the edges. I want to take a bit of that black and go through the crease to darken up the top part of the shimmer because it isn't as dark as I'd hoped it to be in the crease. And then we'll reapply some more of the shimmer once this is all blended together. That looks better. Okay. And then, very precisely, we're going to place this on the center so I don't have to blend any more away. Okay. There. That is what that looks like. I think I'm gonna spray my brush, my little guy, with the setting spray. Just dampen it a little and try going over the shimmer again and see if it makes it a little more blinding. I want it to be as bright as I can get it because the rest of the eye is pretty dark. That's better. Oh. There. And the top of the eye is done. So, that is what I'm going to do for my eye. I'm going to finish the other eye, put some mascara on, finish my face, and then I'll do the under eye and false lashes when I'm back. I will see you in a second. Okay, so now that I am done my face pretty much, I'm gonna go back in with the 35C 
which is the colored palette. And using a concealer brush, it's a little flat guy. And I'm gonna take those two light colors here and just blend that into my lower lash line. So I've cleaned off my little Morphe smudger brush and I'm going to mix the next two, these two colors and put those right on top of the, oh, the pinky stuff I just put down. Like that, wow. That's a little, that's a little much, it's a little scary. Okay, we're gonna use that dark purple at the end. Hopefully make that look a little darker and not as neon. I just put eyeshadow on my eyeball. Okay. So I'm going to take this, ooh, the big fluffy blending brush. I'm going to blend it. And then back with this concealer brush and the black, we're gonna really get close. Sorry, I'm looking down in my mirror. It's kind of hard. And I'm just gonna keep it on the outer and bring it about halfway and do the same on the other eye. And then the end with the blending brush. And there. That is all I'm going to do on my eyeballs. Um, back with the shimmer palette and that little brush once I clean off the color. So, with this brush being clean, I'm gonna take the shimmer palette and the same shimmer we used on the lid and just put some in that inner corner. And don't worry, I will blend. It's a little crazy looking. And voila, that is the finished eye look. Um, I need to do some highlighting of the face. We're using the Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Pop collab. Whew. Highlighter is amazing. Bam. Love me some highlighter. And then a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. Okay, so I've put two coats of mascara on my top lashes, one on the bottom. I was going to put false eyelashes on, but I don't like those, so we're not going to. I will be right back. And to finish off the full face, we need some lips, so I'm gonna use the Tarte Lip Paint in birthday suit. And I got the cute little birthday package, so it kinda goes along with my birthday. And I'm gonna put this all over my lips. And again, I'm looking in my mirror, so if I disappear, that's why.
There we go. Oh, I gotta set the face. I'm gonna use some setting spray. There we go. That is the finished makeup look. I have to go get dressed for work. So yeah, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Comment below video suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos with me. And yeah, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.